Good morning. Welcome to my morning walk with Cooper. It's a Monday morning and it's uh, in the low 60s right now. And I've been battling this crazy cold for, uh, not the cold weather, but I have a cold uh, for this past week, which is very unusual for me. I don't tend to get sick often, and when I do, it doesn't usually last this long. So, uh, so it's been humbling. I uh, had some family come in and visit from out of town over the weekend, and it was really, it was really neat because my niece, they brought their baby boy with them, who I don't get to see. I think. I've only seen him a couple times since he was born. And it's neat to see the see him growing, becoming more independent in his movement. He's a cutie. And he just started crawling uh, within the past m month, I believe it is. And uh, of course, I'm such a nerd about that stuff that I get excited to watch how the babies move and progress through their developmental stages. And so the last time I saw him, he was still kind of in that learning how to control his, his head movement and support his head on top of his body. And then this weekend, He's crawling and uh, he's crawling with confidence. So it's, uh, it was really, really neat to see. Uh, watching him or a, a little guy like that, being able to go from a seated upright position with their big head sitting on top of their bodies and then just folding forward at the hips onto their hands and knees and just start moving effortlessly is uh, it's really impressive. Uh, it's no small thing. I challenge you to do it. Uh, there are these stages that, that we all go through or, uh, ideally go through to really help develop our nervous system and get us, our nervous system to tie into our, our body and really c connect everything, the shoulders and the hips and the spine and, and as babies, we are born with the diaphragmatic breathing is, is, is ingrained in us, is hardwired into us. And we are diaphragmatic breathers by nature. Uh, and so that is essentially the, the number one um, part of our neurological development. Diaphragmatic breathing helps to connect the outer world or, or the air we breathe with our diaphragm and our pelvic floor. And then with the diaphragmatic breathing as babies, they have to learn to control their eyes and head. So they're looking around. They can't really see too clearly um, at first, but they can hear. And so they're learning to connect their eye movements in their heads to turn towards the sounds of their mom or their dad. And babies' heads are really heavy. So uh, I read that uh, a newborn baby, about one third of their weight is in their head. So if you can imagine how difficult that would be to try and have some type of control over this weight 
sitting at the top of the pole, i.e. Your, your trunk. And that's why babies, they're flopping all over the place. And But that's important because they're learning how to control that. And they use that control, they develop that control uh, through their nervous system's ability to communicate to their core musculature. Right. So if you can imagine taking a, you know, a five or a 10 pound dumbbell and you hold it here in this position, uh, you could probably do it for a really long time uh, without any fatigue. But if we take that five or 10 pound dumbbell and the further out we get from our center of mass, all of a sudden that weight starts to appear to become heavier. Um, still five or 10 pounds, but it gets heavier. And if you were to hold that five or 10 pound dumbbell or weight straight out in front of you with your arm extended out, you'll feel that the shoulder and the neck and the upper back will really start to fatigue quickly uh, if you keep it out there. And so uh, essentially that's kind of what is happening with us in, as we develop our nervous system uh, with the eye and head control. The phase after that, and these phases kind of, you know, go sequentially, but, um, and in some cases, some kids might skip some of these phases, uh, which may have some challenges down the road for them and their developmental or their learning capabilities, but, you know, we're adaptive creatures, so, but the third phase is learning how to roll, rolling from our bellies to our backs and our backs to our bellies. And this is where we really start to tie in connecting our shoulder to our opposite hip um, or our hip to our opposite shoulder, depending on how we're rolling. And this is really crucial because this is the early f stages of us developing our, our gait pattern, our walking pattern, right? connecting that bilateral uh, connection uh, via our nervous system. Right? So we're learning to start to now cross train our left and right hemispheres of our brain to communicate in a way that'll allow our right shoulder to connect to the left hip. And vice versa and so on and so forth. So uh, rolling is really important and it's very challenging. Um, I have a video here on the channel of rolling and you can see in that video if you were to watch it, which I hope you will. Um, I'm not all that fluid in my rolling, right? I do roll uh, uh, in the privacy of my own home. Uh, uh, I do practice rolling uh, because it is, all of these are skills or um, a practice that helps our nervous system to stay healthy and vital. And um, uh, we can l become less efficient in some of these movements uh, if we don't, if we don't do them, which a lot of us as adults don't do. So the rolling is uh, important for that, really starting to com connect the, the hemispheres of the brain and the, and the bilateral movements of the body. Uh, and then we get into the rocking. And again, I have a video of rocking as well on this channel. And rocking, I love rocking. Uh, getting on your hands and knees and just rocking back and forth. and that really uh, is one calming for the nervous system. Um, it soothes the nervous system, but two, it propel, pr prepares us to, or prepares uh, babies to uh, start the crawling, right? So if you ever watch a baby getting onto all fours and before they really know how to crawl, they're shifting their weight back towards their heels and towards their shoulders. And it's almost as if like they're trying to figure out how to take this momentum of going back and forth 
in the quadruped position and then move. And so um, oftentimes babies might start to even crawl uh, on their uh, forearms, elbows, and knees before they even really get into the rocking phase. So, um, you know, the commando crawling, which uh, the rocking really starts to help uh, in conjunction with the rolling starts to really activate their their deep core musculature uh, and that makes them a little bit more uh, connected through their center to begin to crawl and then they start to crawl and uh, some babies will crawl same arm, same leg, moving forward. Um, but the ideal approach to crawling is that uh, bilateral uh, right arm, left knee coming forward, and then vice versa. So, and then they start to crawl. And then, as any parent knows, their world is changed <laughs> you can't just put the baby down and go into the kitchen to grab something right so uh and that's where uh, my niece's son is at right now he's he's crawling crawling like a madman it, it was it was neat because he i was sitting next to him on the floor and I would take my index fingers and I would just lightly touch him on either side, kind of like gently squeeze into his uh, obliques. And as he's sitting there, he's looking at me like, you know, I'm weird. Uh, and he has this cute little soft doughiness to his, to his, his belly. And I'd keep my fingers there and he would fold forward over his legs as he would get into the quadruped position and he would start crawling. And as he shifted his weight forward, again, the weight of his head now coming forward of his center of mass, you can feel, or I can feel, his uh, core musculature reflexively get tight. And then he would crawl and there would be a, 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 a tension there that I can feel through my fingertips um, of his transverse abdominis, transverse abdominal muscles, obliques, everything firing reflexively um, to help support his head and the rest of his body as he's crawling. And uh, he would stop and he would sit back up and then it would get soft again. And he would look at me like, um, why are you doing this to me? I'm trying to go about my day and you're sticking your fingers in my sides. So I was, did that for, you know, a couple of minutes. And it was just really neat to see how his body reflexively engages as he goes from the seating, seated position to uh, uh, crawling and that transition. So... So it was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, he'll start walking before I get to see him again. And, uh, and he'll be an active young, young kid. He's all boy, so uh, uh, a lot of adventures to come. Uh, but it was neat. So, yeah. Those... Stages of our fundamental development, once again, is diaphragmatic breathing, eye, eye and head control. So where the eyes go, the head goes, and where the head goes, the body follows. Uh, rolling from our belly to our back, and our back to our belly is number three. Rocking, and then crawling, and then ultimately walking and running and jumping and doing all the other things. So, and I have some videos here on this channel, uh, like I said before, on, on many of these topics, uh, broken down individually, and I'll do more because uh, I incorporate these movements into my, my daily life 
and um, just to keep the nervous system primed. So that's it. I hope you all have a great week. <clears throat> I do appreciate, you know, those who view these videos. It's a small channel, um, but that's okay. Uh, I enjoy seeing even one view uh, up there. Um, I hope that you get something of interest, makes you think, uh, something that maybe you can apply into your life and help you move better and feel better and live a more active lifestyle, whatever that is for you, um, and be pain-free, enjoy the bodies that we are given, and use them in a way that makes us happy and we can interact with others. So if anything that I talked about today was of interest to you, I would appreciate a, a thumbs up and subscribe if you want, costs you nothing. And share this video with somebody if you feel that they might find it interesting or helpful. And until we meet again, have a wonderful week.